Hello, I'm Claire Snowden, darling. I'm Laura Knowles. And we are going to talk to you about the marvellous triangle of hormonal health. Oh, yes, we do like to do a hand movement. In our work, <laughs> you will see a lot of bar graphs and a lot of triangles. You will. <laughs> So let's talk to you about it. Let's tell you about this amazing thing. So this is actually a unique clinic model that was developed uh, after a brainwave, like an enlightened moment sitting on a beach at Byron Bay in 2015. <laughs> so having been uh, practitioners for many years, uh, Laura and I had both still been really struggling with our health and uh, through talking to a friend of mine who basically had uh, very heavy periods, was struggling with um, a lot of stress and was not eating a diet that was in any way supportive of wellness. I basically took out my journal on holiday, sunbathing, uh, and drew a little triangle in my journal and then started to explain to her how hormone imbalances caused by diet and stress were causing her heavy periods and thus the triangle of hormonal health was <laughs> born and basically we have gone on to fall so in love with this clinic model uh, that it's now uh, become the core of all of our work because actually it's genius genius isn't it, it so is let actually me... genius <laughs> it really is so let me talk you through it so that is very core the triangle is talking about an interplay between three sets of hormones now what we're looking for is we are looking for imagine a stool we want all of our legs to be equal we want that stool to be nice and supported and nice and structured but if i've got an imbalance in one of my legs i've got a wonky stool if i've got an imbalance of two of my legs i've got a really wonky stool and stool and if i've got an imbalance like in another one of my legs if my one of my legs is a bit shorter a bit longer like i'm all over the place so that's basically the essence of the triangle of hormonal health. Now, these three sets of hormones are our blood sugar hormones. So that's absolutely connected to diet. And blood sugar hormones are also connected to the second set of hormones on the triangle, stress hormones. And then the third set of hormones are our sex hormones. So estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. Now, what happens is when I've got a wonky stool, the body will start to display symptoms. Now, those symptoms usually show up first in either what we call the victims of an unstable triangle of hormonal health, the digestive system or the immune system. So lots of people are talking about stress and blood sugars. A lot of people will talk about estrogen and blood sugars or stress and estrogen. Nobody has ever actually put it together in a proper clinic model and use it to explain why diet is so important, why addressing stress is so important and what that actually means and how we can actually balance those hormones. So let's look at some of the science behind this because it's super interesting. The more that you understand how the body works in this relationship kind of way, the more that it's just so eye-opening. So what, one of the things that we bang on about a lot is blood sugars and blood sugars is our response to eating uh, eating any foods but particularly when we're eating carbohydrates or sugar and as we're eating something carbohydrate and sugary we put our body produces insulin and this can give us a bit of an adrenaline kick so there's the stress uh, part of the triangle and as what comes up has to come back down again as insulin drops the body then produces a stress hormone called cortisol to be able to make us go out and get actually more carbohydrates this is where sugar cravings a lot of sugar cravings come from so there is this direct interplay between insulin cortisol and adrenaline when there are high levels of blood sugar, if we're eating lots of carbohydrates, we also, that, that high insulin, you also get an increase in estrogen produ production. So that's our sex hormone. So there's a relationship between insulin and estrogen. High cortisol, so if we're super stressed, will trigger a release in the body to tell us to go and get sugar. So often when we're having sugar cravings or when we're needing carbohydrates, it is a stress response that so you get it from both angles. 
The endocrine, our hormone system, is super clever and it will always prioritize stress over sex hormones, over getting jiggy and making babies. So it's it will always look at when we look at the hormone pathways it's something called the pregnenolone steel which we go into into depth is the body will prioritize the hormones cortisol and uh, neurotransmitter adrenaline over producing hormones such as progesterone so this is when we see women who've got high stress often have period issues when we're looking at the victims digestion and the immune system there's a lot of interplay that happens between the hormone system stress hormones and the digestion so a good example of this is when we're super stressed we are in a sympathetic nervous system response the opposite side of that is the parasympathetic nervous system and that's where digestion sits if we're stressed all the time we ain't going to be digesting so um so that is a little bit of science behind the triangle of hormonal health it is at the heart of our diploma courses and the more that you learn the more that you can understand what is going on in someone's body and what we teach is how to coach someone to recognize what is going on mm. and what to do about it at supporting the body with food, with nutrition, with lifestyle, with supplements. There are so many different tools in our toolkit to be able to balance the triangle when we realize what's going on. Do you know the thing I love the most about it? Oh, go on then. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, go on and tell me. <laughs> uh, so the thing I love the most about it is when clients come in and they are dealing with whatever it is they're dealing with, it all just feels like such a minefield. And like it's something my body's doing to me. I don't know what's happening. I'm quite scared often. Um, I'm, I, I know I should eat well, but I just can't really be bothered. And how much difference is it really going to make? And then suddenly, when you actually explain the triangle and and where symptoms, you know, could be manifesting, uh, could be originating from, not where they're manifesting, where they're originating from, it's like this aha moment. And all of a sudden, it makes sense for them to change their diet, not just because of, you know, trying to lose weight or beating myself up. It's like, oh, I can see why eating more protein is essential eating you know more in a clean way is essential oh I get it I get it and it's that penny dropping oh I get it that's mm. the bit I love the most it's so empowering I think one of my favorite sayings of yours is that every time we put food in our mouth we have a hormonal response and just that was a light bulb moment for me and it does it starts to change our relationship because we start to have that relationship with food that this is going to have a hormonal response that my yeah. anxiety or my yeah. heavy periods or my histamine response is going to be directly affected by my next meal yeah 